Okay, so parts laid out here for issue 57. Uh, quite a few just looks like it's going to be like a gearbox or something um, uh, for the motor, for the wing flaps. Also got an LE uh, a lens, a light lens or something. Not uh, sure that's going to go. And you have got a um, pin in there. Let me make sure I was a bit concerned because I couldn't see the pin in a separate bag, but it's actually in the bag with the uh, screws. So, uh, yeah, all there, all checked off. So, uh, just going to get into this build for uh, issue 57. Okay, so first thing we're doing is bringing over the motor from the last issue and fitting this kind of cog, what it looks like. So just going to fit in that. Quite difficult to see because it's white, but it has got a cross point. And it's just going to fit onto there. Just fits on quite nicely, just push fit. I don't think it says exclude. Uh, no, it doesn't say exclude. This part, which is the cog housing, it's called. Got some screw holes in the back, and this kind of all fits in. I'm going to make sure that the cable is the wire. Sorry, it's pointing away. Okay, it's getting everything all together. To be honest with you. Okay, and there we go. So that kind of fits in. Make sure I hold that. Kind of fits in. Right. And then you're going to fit that on with two PB screws. It does say to make sure that the cable is going off in that direction. Okay, so that's how that kind of looks. Screws going there and the cable going off in that direction. Gear housing, like that fitting the cog, and there's an important part here the extended tooth, if you like, or a stop, or whatever you want to call it. Now that has to go a butt against the part in there, it has to a butt against that. It has to sit. See that? So it butts against that. And then connecting cog, just a bit like that. And that has to go into there. And obviously the teeth have to mesh. And then you take your shaft and Got this thin piece of rope, you gotta make sure it sits central. Doesn't really matter if you are going to be able to move it, but make sure it does sit in there in that notch. Make sure that does sit in that notch. Then you get your cover, put that on the top, and secure it with some screws. And I'll have one final check before I put this on. This one's okay. And that's a button against that, it is, that's in there, that's in the notch, yeah.
Okay. That's what that looks like. Full housing, etc. Then. Then it's the motor I'm going to fit on. That. And there's one way. And then two more of these on the screws. Okay. Okay, so that's the wing flap motor and gear and etc. fitted. Now we've got a little LED and all we're going to be doing with that is fitting um, or putting a little identifying sticker onto that. Obviously at the uh, switch end, at the connector end, at the LED end. Okay, it's now bringing over the aircraft, the uh, main part of the mould. Now, the first thing we're doing is fitting the LED lens, as mentioned in the intro, red lens. It's going to be fitted just into this hole, just there. And then the LED itself is going in, we just had. I'll just plonk it down there. I don't know if it shows which way you've got a bend cable. So that kind of sits there. Okay, you've got to have the red cable facing. So the black and red cable need to be aligned as shown. Um, okay, when it goes in, the red cable's got to be attached there. So now we're bringing over the motor assembly and the cogs and everything that we just fixed. And then that's going to go into there, into this area here, and the red cable is going to go up against it. Okay. And then we're fitting that in with the two by four screws, silver ones. It. You've got your LED in there and you've got the wing flap motor and cables and, and the cogs and things in there, cog housing in there. Okay, so that was issue 57 there, yeah, fitting that uh, motor for the uh, wing flaps and that LED. Not bad issue at all. Uh, issue 58 is coming up soon. And what we got? Connecting the cables for the wing flaps. So we've put the motor on now. It looks like we're going to be putting on The actual operating cables are so quite an in-depth issue by those things You know lots of instructions in there. We're going to be actually fitting the uh, the operating cables for the wing flaps um, So that'll be issue 58 and that'll be coming up soon Okay, so thank you very much for watching my presentation of this issue of Builder Spitfire Mark 1A by Hachette Partworks and if you'd like to see progression of this model or any of the other models on the channel, because I've got the uh, Ecto-1 and the Ferrari F40 going on at the moment, then you can always consider subscribing. And if you enjoyed this video, then give us a thumbs up or pop any comments in the comments box. I always get back to those. But hey, until next time, thank you very much for watching. Hope to catch you again on the channel soon. Take care and ta-da for now.